Greetings everyone, I'm starting the stream for the USFC 78th event. Today, unfortunately, I'll have to do most of the commentating alone, unless someone expresses a Greetings desire everyone. to join me. I'm starting this. So, we have still a pretty decent uh, roster of matchups lined up, so I hope it will be a pleasure for you to watch and obviously fight in those duels. Uh, we'll be starting with uh, Wiggly versus Apostle, a duel between uh, newer members of our community that are still sticking with us. I guess that means that they are finding fun in both our event and just uh, regular matches that they occasionally have between uh, community members and them. So let's get this started. I'll ping the guys and uh, send them a basic link so we can play this out. Okay, here is the link. Wiggly will be fighting on the left initially, Apostle on the right. And I'm waiting for guys to connect. Apostle is in. Yeah, no problem, Big Lim. Alright, he is in as well. Uh, please, guys, remind me if you need like mouse access for whatever reason or keyboard access. I think both of you are using keyboard actually. Maybe I, I've forgotten something. Okay, balls are in, so I guess we'll see it in practice. Again, Wiggly, you take the left side. Typing, I'm waiting. Ah, yeah, okay. Guess you still need the keyboard. And it's done. Actually, I'll just give full access to both of you. Okay, you have access now, so take left side, please, Wiggly. Just in case I'll reset controllers. Yeah, you definitely both have the access. Well, let's try reconnecting maybe. Yeah, try reconnecting Wiggly. Let's see if it works. Accept it, give you the access, let's see. Nope, still nothing. Mm, that's strange. Okay, I can try giving you Steam link. Oh yeah, actually, let's try restarting as well. If restart fails, then I can give you a Steam link. Keep restarting Parsec. 
done. And a new link for you guys. Ah, sorry Wiggly, I accidentally kicked a button to kick you. Reconnect again, please. Okay, should be good now, I think. So, try tanking left. Wiggly. Oh yeah, I hear the sound now. Okay, Apostle. Yep. It's working. I said the names initially on the stream, so let's go. So, Kalkstein used by Wiggly, his main, and Apostle going with Barabash to And yeah, the double starts it all. Promising is a pretty even fight, I hope. And both are uh, throwing pretty wide cuts, but eventually Wiggly gets close enough and does a nice sidestep with horizontal cut <laughs> but immediately his thrust is being punished by a puzzle ah, the moment you guys go on i'll have to answer a call but i'll be back in a minute or two I'm back guys, and yeah, looks like my initial assessment was somewhat correct. It's a pretty close fight, Apostle just gained one flag advantage. Let's see how Wiggly can respond to it. Yeah, tries to initiate with some uh, dangerous thrust that threatens Apostle's guard and then either retreats into back axe or try some rushes. So far it's working for him pretty good. But yeah, now he gets that flag advantage, but Apostle is still trying to time those cuts, I think, to maybe blade beat those thrusts. Oh yeah, or oh, parry and punish them just like that. So it could really go either way. Let's see, let's see. Maybe someone changes the tempo. Yep, that was a really nice sidestep with upcut. Getting right under that exposed arm. Some feints and preemptive attacks. Oh, nice. Well fought, guys. We are going to the second round. Uh, no, swap sides, please. Don't forget that you need to switch sides after every duel. 
That last attack was slightly out of measure for it, I think. And yeah, Pastel seems really good with his punishes and he switches from uh, Barra to Muslo now. Oh, one moment. Sorry, guys. I need to switch your names on the stream as well. No one is reminding me now. No one is <laughs> making sure I'm doing this. Okay, you can go now. Oh, that, that looked like a double, but... Yeah, both were hit, but one hit was lethal and the other wasn't. Yeah, another, another pretty intense and close start of the duel. <laughs> Maestro. Keeper of secrets. Yeah, I guess I better focus on the fight at hand. So far I think Apostle is yeah, still playing pretty much the same, just with uh, different attacks. As Laszlo is somewhat different from Barabash. But he aims like, to defend some initiation thrust uh, of uh, and then punish it. But yeah, Wiggly is trying to land second intention attacks now, more I think. So he's getting hit in the process sometimes, but he still lands them, but not every time. Someone needs to switch something up for this to not be as uh, tight and hard to predict. Yeah, and like slightly, slightly, Apostle is gaining advantage with those uh, barrier posts. Yeah, punishing those initiations by Wiggly. So maybe Wiggly needs to play slightly less aggressive, just stop initiating everything. Maybe use some feints or provocations to let his opponent do an attack that he can punish. We'll see, we'll see. It's up to him to find the proper approach to this opponent. Oh, that was <laughs> an interesting trade. Punch for a cut. Fortunately for Wiggly, he wasn't able to fully uh, disable his opponent with a punch, so that cut still came. I'm switching the names again. Wiggly gets back to the left side. I really hope he can find some good changes to his Kalk if he stays with Kalk. Or maybe he will switch to another character, we'll see. Our Apostle just shuffles, going Alex. Yeah, it's somewhat hard to... Both... Oh. Is something wrong? One moment, guys, don't fight, please. Don't fight. If everything is fine, signal with long guard. And a last can shot just in case. Okay, so maybe accidental press. You can continue them. So, uh, as I was saying, it's sort of hard for both fighters. You need to adjust to a new matchup. But again, if you are good with multiple characters, you're facing the same opponent, so maybe it's slightly easier for you. While your opponent, using the same character, has to adjust to different 
Uh, angles of attack and stuff you're trying to pull. Mm, and again, another argument we can use here. Like, even when you switch across multiple characters, you still have uh, pretty definite styles with them. So, maybe it's less of a difference than facing a completely new player. Oh, but. Fossil is really utilizing the low cut of Alex. It wasn't available for Laszlo or for Barabash. Getting Kalk's legs. It is yet to find a proper answer and just, yeah. They both went for single temper attack and it ended more likely for Fossil. Wiggly has to trust his last line of defense, retreating thrust. Poking those arms that are trying to reach him. Uh, okay, I really hope it's just accidental violent presses. I'm definitely not pausing this. But yeah, as both guys are playing on keyboard, maybe they're just getting something wrong. Oh, again, that really nice leg cut. Seeing that his opponent is not trying to cut him. Fossil goes low and gets the leg. Oh, and now he reacted just in time to punish the rush in. No, not punish actually, he used a preemptive attack seeing his opponent is just trying something. <laughs> and a dash into cut. Well, formidable performance, even though, uh, like, literally. All those duels were really, really tight with literally single or two flag difference. In the end, Puzzle managed to get the upper hand and defeat his opponent. Well played, guys. Congrats, Puzzle, for victory. Next, we'll need our American host because we have a bunch of people from North America. So, Maestro, I think, can work as a really good middle ground, even in the chances of uh, both fighters when we have uh, like latency issues. Asking Maestro whether he's ready to host. Are you completely sure, Pico? Mm, okay. If you are sure that it's fine, okay. Let's do it. We'll definitely need Maestro's host uh, for Mojo still. So I hope Maestro you will help us with this. Again, two keyboard warriors are meeting each other. I'll just have to set the names quickly. the set. Yeah, keyboard gang strong. <laughs> Let's go keyboard warriors.
I was like, slightly expecting Kalkmira as Oaken previously was uh, playing Kalk extensively, but yeah, he still sticks to his current main main, which is really strong for him and works for literally any matchup that's literally the best way to tell how good Oak is with Laszlo. But Pico is an expert of literally multiple characters. He usually cooks something, some cancels, some very sometimes wonky looking stuff, but it gets the job done for him. Yeah, thanks for being ready, Maestro, but it seems Pico preferred to use my host for whatever reason. But we'll need you for two next duels, one of which will be yours, so please stay tuned. Oh, somewhat long exchange, but yeah, immediately as I say, <laughs> as I say, this is usual, something happens and one of the guys dies. Token is starting pretty solid so far. Yeah, his, his footsies are his like, strongest basis that he relies upon a lot and a lot. But just now Pico said, okay, I don't care about any footsies. Rush in and the Kalk snapcut lands fully. Oh, and that was a nice thrust, but fortunately for Pico, not strong enough. So, Hogan managed to clutch a double here. Oh, white swings. Maybe in hope of uh, parry and provocation, but it cancels. Yeah, it ends in double again. Yeah, as usual, Pico is trying to pull off some interesting cancels, custom combos, so to say. Oh, and again, thrust lands. Let's see if it's enough. Ah, uh, nope. This time it's even worse. Ogan managed to parry whatever attack Pico was throwing. Malfutsis again. Yeah, literally Laszlo feels like especially used by Oaken and also by uh, Pianist previously too, like you're fighting a cavalryman actually. Like he's riding the horse back and forth, back and forth. And it's so <laughs> so hard to catch this cavalryman when you are as slow as say Kalk or Rera. Oh, and snap card or sidestep card maybe. So fast, it's really hard to tell. And yeah, most of uh, ah, uh, yep. Take the other sides, guys. After that, I will switch your names. Yep, one moment. Picola will be on the left, and Oaken on the right. There you go. Hmm. Pico goes to Lenza now. Wielding Mata. Mm. Oh, that was a card with uh, while retreating from Mata with rotation opens her like half a second or so. Well, maybe less obviously. But it's still enough for Laszlo with really, really fast cuts. Yeah, again, I was going back and forth, applying the pressure, but Pico managed to time the sidestep cut that literally slapped the cheek of Laszlo. Oh, 
gun. Oak just goes in and cuts off the hand. Yeah, he's hovering a bit more away than from Kalk previously. But applies just as much pressure, if not more. After all, it's very, very important to get closer to rapier player, especially if you're fighting with Saber. Oh, yeah. As long as Oak gets close enough, he guns his upper hand immediately. Yeah, like... Popico, it becomes almost impossible to land any thrust. Yep. I really hope Pico tries Jera or some other hidden ace. Yep, Jera it is. And I'm switching sides on the stream. Names are set. Let's go. Oh yeah, if you let Laszlo so close as Jera, your attack wind up maybe a bit slower, you won't make it in time, or oh, most you get a double. So yeah, Pico is immediately switching to more preemptive attacks, but his last cancel it fails him. Zyok manages to slip right in between cuts and land. Yeah, again, punishing the whiff. Oh, it's getting through with those 11 damage moments. <laughs> but still not enough to kill, unfortunately, and yeah. He almost lost his stamina. Going back, looking for. Oh, so close, yet it misses. Yep, Pico tries to keep the distance desperately, showing some damage attacks. Lands one, but Oak grabs a double out of it. Oh, grapple attempt, but counted. Oh, nice sidestep combo, but Oak is just ready to throw some fast cut to grab the double. And again, in between the attacks, lighting fast slash to the hands and that's it. Oh, nice. Like, if Oaken was blocking this, that thrust probably wouldn't go through due to the distance. But Oak started an attack and opened himself and just ate that. Nice. I really enjoy watching the rotation combo. A right, left. Oh. Some pain. Oh, commits, but. Elk has no hesitation whatsoever. Blocks and then immediately responds. Oh. Nice attempt with holy stands, but. Unfortunately, it misses slides over the blade and Oaken was walking to the left as well. And yeah, no stamina for Jara, and immediately Oak pressure Speaker to the wall, finishing him off. Yeah, very solid performance by Oak. He is on fire today. That's actually why I was initially hoping to get this match going on Maestro's host, but oh well. I bet it's like, yeah, very, very hard to react to anything on latency. Well, obviously it is, but then, when, especially if you face someone with lightning fast attacks as Laszlo, and when it's used by someone as good as Oak, yeah, it's double hard. Still, Pico managed to provide some resistance at least. GG, guys.
Okay, so uh, Roderick seems busy and can't do the next match, unfortunately. So we'll go with uh, Mojo versus Racism. Uh, no bracer and don't connect to me, please. Mojo was having a really bad time uh, on my host, uh, so I'm trying Maestros now. Also, unlike me, you are closer to Maestro and I had a very good games uh, when I was uh, playing on Maestros. Uh, well, only occasional issues, so you should be better than me and his as well. Yep, just if you or Mojo experience any issues, just feel free to tell about them in the use of C chat. Mm, Maestro, I see that you are listening. Yeah, you are listening me here in the commentator's cabin. If you are like somewhat busy, something is distracting you, please uh, say something about it in chat or just join the commentators. And yeah, I'll set the names while we are waiting. So Mojo will be fighting on the left. Racer on the right. A maestro will provide the link mojo. We have to wait for him a bit. Messaging him as well. Yeah, such a plugin would be amazing. Actually, I already tried searching for something, or maybe I was just bad in my search, failed to find anything, but definitely it, was, it would be so much better to just press a single button to switch the names. But uh, again, I'm using OBS, so do you think it's possible to do an overlay like in-game uh, without the stream itself? Like not using streaming software, but as a game mode, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that would be really great then. Press single button and the name switch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no surprise, you did it with timer, so why not with the names? Uh, you are on the right, you are starting on the right. I'm connecting as well, so wait a bit, please. Yep, yep, joining Maestro just... Ah, yeah, it says waiting to connect. All right, I'm in. Name the set, Modri is on the left, 
Racer on the right. Yeah, guys, just pick the map. You know the map. We are using only small void for you to see most of the time. Ba -ba -bum. Ah, yeah, so sometimes Master's horse is having issues. Well, because it's a uh, cloud PC, I think. It displays those bars and everything. But, well, as long as performance for both uh, competitors is good, that's not such big of an issue at all. And Racer takes the lead again, landing the uh, high guard card after a somewhat prolonged exchange. Yeah, a Racer is really good at landing those uh, high cuts. Now retreating Y, right into the face. Yeah, definitely in a pretty short amount of time. He became uh, very, very <laughs> well versed in Isabella skills and expertise. Doing good on mirror matches and uh, and facing other opponents. He is really strong. But don't forget that Mojo actually already holds a uh, one UFC championship belt. So it means he has those skills, he knows how to adapt. And though he may lose in the beginning, he may analyze his opponent and uh, figure some counterplays. Let's watch this. Try some sidesteps now, Mojo. Oh, I got off his own, but a race is not scared of it like at all. Waiting, trusting his defense and then counter-attacking. Very dominant performance by him so far. Oh, Major lands an upcut. Now he needs to find a way to land a follow-up. Because Rage is getting tired. Yep, eventually lands a retreating cut, but still it was pretty risky yet. Plays off again, parrying the downwards cut from high guard, and then trading versus <laughs> mythic. Oh, the more cuts have been thrown and defended by both participants. Monja has to eat a cut, and yeah, no stamina. The racer finishes him off. Switch inside the links. Raised by Risa. Again, after some time of exchanging the blows, Risa seems to either find a better angle or just a good position to land this thrust. But yeah, as soon as I started describing this module lands an attack of his own, yeah, goes for the high guard cut as well. Oh, sidestep. Trading hits bows, but Mojo has one leg less now. All in there, looking for some openings. While well, Racer is uh, pacing back and forth. Check his opponent. Oh, oh, nice. No double even. Mojo, it's just a graze while well, letting the full blown cut. Getting another flag. What a brutal double. Both easy slots their face. 
Oh, very nice timing to launch your attack to score some corporation. Oh, but this time Mudro was throwing an attack of his own and it's a double. Oh, <laughs> nice combo. I was just about to praise Racer for uh, some really interesting sidestep, but Mojo picked just the right combo with uh, horizontal attack that tracked his opponent really well and killed him. Yep, as I was saying, Mojo is really a player good enough to find some adjustments. After a warm up, he definitely is looking to find what will work better for him, yet Tracer obviously is not willing to give any ground to that. Now it's a real deal, so to say. They're both going at it. Oh, nasty thrust right into the face. Oh, Mojo tries the thrust of his own, continuing with the cut right after thrust, but it ends only in a double, as Racer was trying to repost. Ah, nice, but no kill. Oh, yeah. Racer landed a hit too, but probably due to him being tired because of wounds and the tax thrown. He didn't manage to kill, and Mojo continues. Letting those successful cuts and getting flags. And again, looks like right side is the lucky side today for them. And you have to switch them now. 1-1. One, one. Alright, Mojo is back to the left side. Oh, nice subcut. Oh, but yeah, the high good cut just drops on the leg. When it happens, like if you land it from maximum distance possible, sometimes auto guard just doesn't react to it. Oh, but Mojo just goes forward, literally overpowering his opponent. Right through the blade. Gan tries to do the same, but this time. Tracer is good with his parries. Short stair down. Slide brace. And we're going at it again. But, and both of them are getting some attire, I think. Oh, and Modri is wounded, but Tracer just immediately jumps for this. Got just a little bit of advantage and immediately tried to capitalize on it. And now he lands an amazing combo. Up, down. Oh, yeah, maybe Mojo was trying to push a grapple. Racer managed to launch his attack for seconds. Yep, tries to thrust, only for it to be stopped and counter thrusted. Mojo is still in the game. Oh god, oh yeah. That flashy move, but provides a big opening. So, oh, it Tracer still somehow manages to utilize it more effectively. Ah, yeah. Fancy attacks can take you so far. No parries. Oh, yeah, but trade pommel strike for a cut. Mojo has low uh, stamina now. And even more lower. And Rekha still feels the pressure. Yeah. And so he gets a grace, continues throwing those cuts, and gets a victory. 2-1. I'm switching sides. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. Thanks, Maestro, for this. Now I managed to disable the bars. Nice. Mojo really showed us the true patience and trust of his god. Stop the combo by Reese and then punish him, but this time Reese wasn't trying something fancy and just did literally the same and nice punish. Just a slight whiff and Reese is stepping in with an upcut. Oh, and now he's retreating cut. Yep. This round is totally dominated right now, but, yep, Mojo is still not giving up. Pairing his opponent's blade, going for the kill, he wants blood. Both of them do it seems. Going back and forth, but yeah, the signature shots rust. Well, it's becoming signature. For Racer so far, as he's pretty good at utilizing them recently. Yields him a victory. 3 1. Very solid performance by Racer. And a good match of Easy Mirrors overall. Thanks for a really good game, guys. Alright. So, Maestro, hope you are ready to fight yourself now. And yeah, let's check if Roderick is back. Okay, let's see if Roderick is ready to fight. If he still isn't ready, we can do the title fight and uh, you can fight after it then. Okay, Vinu wants to fight now, it seems. Just one moment. Maestro was Maestro limited, was in, limited time as well. in time as well. Need to ask Need him. To ask him. Okay, thanks. So, Vinu was again trying to pull something shady or just whatever, Vinu being Vinu, a pretty sly and interesting guy in his own way. So, I'll uh, ask Racer to host this, to not have any host advantage here. And yeah, I'll do the names. It's so much easier when the names are short. Three letters, four letters, amazing. Oh, maybe a race is just taking a break. One moment. Oh, let's just give it a minute or two. If Racer is back, we'll fight on his host. If he's in a more prolonged AFK, we'll just have to use mine then. Mm -hmm. 
So far it's proceeding <laughs> lighting fast. Not too many duels today and they're proceeding pretty quickly with a lot of quick exchanges. Really almost no waiting game, just a lot of engagements and uh, fast lags being taken. Even when it's close it still happens pretty fast. Great, thank you, Racer. All right, let's get this going. Yep, I mean, now only Winu needs a uh, Steam link. He's using Steam for well, personal reasons. Let's keep it at that, so he needs this link. Uh, no, not Roderick. Winu. <laughs> I will be starting from the left side. As a defending champion, I decide to pick left side now, and Winu will be fighting from the right. Unfortunately, no one can do an announcement for me today, as I'm commentating alone, so I'll do a quick one. Hope Winu doesn't forget to touch the tips. Yep, exactly, Racer. It's finals. Well, not finals because we don't really have touring format here, but a title fight. This will be my second defense this time around. Vinu managed to beat a few good guys on his way to a challenger status and he himself uh, already has two belts through his skill and sweat. Obviously, he wants to win the third one, being the founder of this event. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, the volume is fine. No need to change anything. Now the real question is, who do I use versus Yandrek? Okay, I have a special bar right for this event. Okay, so on the right we have a founder, creator, first streamer and non-organizer of this UFC event, still playing the game from time to time and being a really a true wild card wielding an axe that can defeat any knight possible, trying to get the third belt into his collection. Let's see how it goes for him. And on the left we have me holding three belts at the moment, trying to get a new record with a win streak and defending the title for the second time. 
as I was saying previously. Let's fight good, let's fight dirty. Good luck, Linu. Uh, it was a pause by uh, Vino, I think. Looks like he's having some issues with keyboard. Is everything fine?
I think Croatia should have default keybinds, no? Yeah, I have just a single flag, so if you want, you can go in game settings if you are not sure. Uh, you can just go into the settings and just switch it. We know the score, so it's not a problem, Ray, so just do it. Let's fix it for Vinny. Did you bend it, Vinny? Okay, I really hope you read. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Let's go then. <laughs> I don't care. If you want to switch a character, feel free. Barabash so far is a pretty solid choice for any matchup, really. Some one are better, some one slightly worse, but still, very solid character overall.
Hey. <laughs> I think it was better for you to stick with Yandrik, you know, like, Yandrik is good, you are good with Yandrik, countering him is just probably better, like, trusting your instinct and skills, but it's so many, just one flag, different situations, it was really, really close and intense, fighting your Yandrik is always fun, even though you are like you were trying to retreat most of the time but your feeling of timing is really good like picking the moment when to attack so thanks for a fun fight
3-2, I got it, Maestro. Vinu decided to go with Gideon for the decisive and fifth, the last duel, trying to maybe counter Yandrik, but it didn't work. I also tried multiple CB characters to, hear, to see how they do in this matchup. Also, I'm pretty happy that we got uh, such a really really close result when i was uh, playing gideon like even at the last flag that we knew won in the end and won the duel uh, mostly like he was cutting and i instead of uh, starting a proper saber attack on my gideon just went with a punch <laughs> really unfortunate trade Ah, yeah, racer. There was no echo. Everything was crisp, like the volume itself. It's really not too high enough, not too low enough. It's a, a good uh, place where it should be and where it should stay, if you don't mind. And there was no echo whatsoever. So thanks for hosting and providing an uh, equal environment for us to face each other. No problem. <laughs> Thanks again, Racer. All right, and we are yet to do one of our fights that we missed a bit. Maestro will be facing Roderick. So I guess we'll just use my host because Maestro is good in it. And Roderick, I think, is fine with it too. But if for some reason, like you were previously experiencing, uh bad lags whatever uh, like that Roderick just say it and we can use some other host or actually even racy if you don't mind hosting one more I think yours would be better for both of them than mine because Roderick is in Europe and you are still closer to Maestro so if you have some spare time that would be amazing Great, great, great. Provide the uh, links for us then. Parsec this time, no steam needed. So we have Roderick versus Maestro. Oh, yeah, and I always forget I can just connect to race uh, via friends. I'm connecting. Great. Everyone is in, it seems. Name is set. Jan Roderick on the left side initially. Maestro on the right one. Now, I'm really curious about the matchup that we'll see here because uh, both players are using multiple characters. I really hope to see Tana used by Roderick, maybe. Oh, but Maestro just goes Barabash. And yeah, Roderick sticks to his old main, it seems. Gideon. Let's go. I don't know which map you need to just see Tana. Place. Just do it. Hmm. That hook from the right by Roderick, but Maestro hit him as well. Both wounded, both are getting tired, and yeah. And then a double. Pretty expected. 
Once both fighters are going at it non-stop trying to land single tempo and both are wounded, it just usually ends in a double. Or at least a very, very close ending. Oh, another double. Oh, nice. Meister was just slightly off, almost reaching Gary's face, but no hit. Fortunately for him, and Roderick immediately punished him. Oh, and yeah, single tempo now. It was a blimp of a parry. Very precise cut by Roderick. Oh, but <laughs> Meister returns the favor now. Yeah, now that after pasting his uh, nickname in different streams, I really, really want to ask Maestro, I guess I'll do it after this fight. Like, why is it not Maestro, but cake? What kind of cake you need to be to be a Maestro as well? Maybe it's some title out of some movie or a book, I don't know. Or some character, fictional one. I'm pretty curious now. Oh... And that arm just goes flying and was cut off. Not with enough power to send it to the moon, but still to make a nice arc. Oh, yet again. Roderick gets the hand of his opponent. We're a double. And the neck now? No, no double. Para somehow survives it, cut to the neck. Mr. Takes that flag. Oh, again, trying to land that false chop cut. Mr. Defense is top notch. Oh, so close again. Roderick was just about to land the cut, but missed slightly, and Mr. immediately finished him off. Some really intense and quick exchanges there. And Mr. gets close enough to secure in this victory, just one flag needed. All this advantage just disappeared for Roderick in a moment. That is how fast this duel is proceeding. Very close one, still very fast. I'm switching their names. Oh, Rera now, and Tana. Nice. Yeah, that's why my like initial idea, and I think I was saying it a few times at some other events as well, that like, Roderick has some experience with Tana. Maybe it's a good idea to master the character, because actually, while we are getting some experience facing him, no one actually is maining him. And when you get to main the character, when you master, when you like study different kinds of attacks he has, try some new stuff, you will provide additional challenge and maybe get some advantage due to this. So, oh, nice. Amazing avoidance of the holy stand thrust by moving slightly to the left. And then really cool response by Roderick. Nice. Single tempo cut and getting the wrists of Jera, not letting his own attack to kill him. Oh. No hits. Oh, and nice leg boy. Tana is not really moving his upper body uh, forward so much. Only in the leg boy, he literally moves forward. That gave him a slight reach advantage, so to say, but. Maestro is still keen on using his thrusts. It's even again. Yeah, both are trying to figure out the better moment to attack, and Maestro goes with second tension. Cutting and then switching to thrust. Driving it right through opponent's body. Oh, Roderick wasn't able fully avoid the first attack, so 
no proper response. Still hanging in the air. Both are tired. Both are wounded. Roderick takes the initiative, making a big step forward, killing off his opponent. Tie again. There's two flags needed by both fighters. Oh, nice. Zora is getting tired. Oh. Yeah, but it's hard to approach him. Oh. Such a big opening, but Maestro just missed it and ate a card, I think, as soon as he tried to punish that opening. Nice plays by Roderick. Oh. For a moment I thought he lost his controls or something, but no, he's still fighting. Uh, but yeah, I think he tried the thrust and unfortunately some of um, Tana's thrusts are really bad. So like, I even compiled a proper bug report about them. I really hope Kobold will have some time to fix them once he releases his uh, short story he's crunching on right now. So for now, nice, yeah. Exactly, like instead of using those thrusts, it's a really good idea to use some amazing sidesteps that Tana has, and this hit landed amazingly beautiful. Nicely played, Roderick. 1-1. One, one. Special names. Okay, now it's Tana and Bara. Saber, well, not Saber, <laughs> but Tana's weapon is really, really close to being a Saber. <laughs> it's variation. In terms of movement speed, Baro definitely has an advantage, but that's why I was talking about mastering uh, Tarnovsky in the beginning. If you get to know some of his special tricks, they may just be that slight advantage you need to defeat your opponent. Like, for example, uh, when I was facing Vino, uh, like 10 to 15 minutes ago, I used some faint combo literally for the first time of me playing Yandrik and it worked really, really well. First, second intention attacks, and I realize that second uh, one is not landing. I fainted, avoid my opponent's counter attack, and then respond again. It was pretty good. And Tana has, unlike Yandrik, he has a ton of variations with his attacks, different stances, and different kinds of combinations. But you still need to find the proper application to them, spend some time with Tana before he. Returns that laugh to you, sort of say. Uh, yeah, probably switching legs so close to your opponent and can strike you with something fast is not a good idea because Tanak provides probably the biggest opening and he's switching from, especially from left, uh, right leg forward, I mean, to left leg forward. Like he has literally no guard whatsoever at the moment. Oh, but. Some nice moves by Roderick. <laughs> Attacks with his leg to then land the cut. Oh! Oh! I thought actually Roderick got it, but no. Not lethal enough, Barra says. I can handle this. Ah, yep. Yeah. Double. Double. So it coming. The swords were not meeting each other, but both traveling with. Pretty good speed to get a kill. Oh! Oh! So dangerous for Roderick and Maestro gets it. 2 1. Pretty close fight still. But I think. Yeah, I can mostly just repeat what I was seeing previously. Maybe figuring out what combos provide me openings. It's literally the same for Jara. Like, Jara has some amazing combos, some really cool moves. But you really need to know what kind of opening those combos are providing. Unlike, say, Isabella, Rero provides bigger windows of opportunity for his opponent to land something in. And it's totally on Rero to try and cover those windows, cancel some stuff, just 
keep swinging into some new combo transition into something to close the window, close the gap. And it's the same for Tanavsky, I think. Like Piccolo was doing some beautiful dance with him, throwing combos literally until going out of stamina and it was crazy fun to watch. But let's get back to our current fight. It's even so far. Oh, nice thrust by Maestro, literally with the tip of the long sword. Let's see how Roderick can just ah uh, yeah that stance which right as Maestro was committing to his attack. So unlucky for Roderick. Maybe he needs to trust his guard a little bit more, yeah, or try some stuff like this exactly. Both not letting Jara to land his full swing and intercepting him. Ah, uh, well, that was not an appropriate response, I think. Hand was just clearly cut off by Jara's side stab, horizontal cut. Oh, threatening Holy God, but no. Nice. Roderick was just standing solid still as a stone column. Trusted his defense. But what's going to happen now? It really looked like <laughs> Tana blocked one of those combo hits with his uh, bald head, but Maestro just continued on. Nice. Nice. Get in, close and personal and finish off. That's Tanavsky's strong side. Nice, again. Not letting Jara to fully commit into his uh, side step attack. Not letting him go to his hand. Yeah, that's a good idea. Priam Jara maybe. Beat him on his way. Nice, right into the head. 2-2. Two -two. Good fight, good fight so far. And we are going into the last and decisive round. Roderick is getting better and better with Tana. Really good to see this. I always root for people who are trying to master some dark horse character, so to say. Someone heavily underused. Like when Koala was playing Marta or when Pico was playing Marta. And the same goes for Tanavsky. Always a pleasure watching someone taking a not so popular character, mastering it, and then scoring some victories. Oh, oh. But unfortunately for me, desiring to watch more Tana, Roderick makes a different pick this time. Getting back to his old main, Gideon. And Maestro sticks with his uh, somewhat newer favorite Barra. It's not like he wasn't playing him before, but I think uh, he told me some. Well, recently. Oh! <laughs> Push the blade <laughs> to his head and then <laughs> attacked once more. Yeah, so I think Maestro was saying uh, something like I'm trying to get better with Barra now, or I'm trying to play more Barra now. Pain off for him so far. And yeah, as literally um, Subu did some good crunching on Barra. Well, he was mostly doing it for Alex's sake, but for example, I never specifically checked Barra Basha's damage, and it just appears it's really high. Barra is really good at landing, yeah, one hit kills exactly like this, and he has some really, really fast attacks, even though they may not kill in one hit. They allow for a follow up. And, well, you combine just these pretty good movement speed, some fast attacks, and some really neat sidestep attacks. He's a very solid character. Pretty fundamental, as he has no, like, not, like, not that much of a complex stuff, but enough of complexity to surprise your opponent or, like, outplay your opponent using some move unpredictable one but yeah like maestro just did you can totally play a very fundamental game and face any opponent 
rather try to provide some resistance, but yeah, Maestro is still very good with Barabash. Defeating him in the end in a very narrow match with three victories versus two. Overall, a really a pleasant match to watch, guys. Thank you for showing it to us. Also, I hope that Roderick would go with Tana for the last bout as well. <laughs> All right. It seems today's event proceeds just too fast. I definitely would like to watch more fights, but we had it all. We had our title fight and everyone else who signed up to participate had their fights. So thanks for participating. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. See you next Saturday. Bye-bye.